This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. We are reconvening in the case of Patterson versus Patterson. In our previous hearing, Mr. Patterson, you brought a claim against your wife on allegations of cheating, and it turned out that she was being truthful and she was not cheating. But she has brought a counterclaim against you, accusing you of cheating. And Ms. Patterson, if you find out he's cheating, you are going to end the marriage. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Oh. Okay. What are the warning signs? Why do you think he's cheating? Because he's cheated in the past, and that's what pulls me away from him. <laughs> when we moved away from our hometown and went to our new town, I just... It wasn't there. The spark wasn't there anymore. Like, I love him, but I couldn't trust him. We have trust issues, and I feel like, why should I be laying down with a man who already laying down with somebody else? And... Um, maybe a month point. after us being there, you know, them female intuitions started kicking in. I ain't have no evidence, but I started having little dreams and stuff, and my dreams be reality. <laughs> and I'm gonna just keep it real. Tell I, me about these dreams. What do they look... What are you dreaming about? I walked in a room with him having sex with another woman. Wow. And it was like you were there. It was like I was standing there. I snatched them up off the bed. Wow. I did all that. <laughs> and so I woke up that morning like, what was that? Like, okay. And then them thoughts go to run in your head. And I'm like, hold up. Okay. Hold did that hold happen up. or did I dream it? Did, did I a dream vision it. come and to me? It, it was a vision. That's what I thought. It was a vision. Because it felt so real. I thought God was sending me a sign. Your wife is accusing you of cheating. That's right. What are you here to prove today? That I'm not. That whatever she dreaming about, just, just let that go. I mean, dreams stick with you. I never heard of nothing like that. <laughs> so you don't feel it's fair for oh, yeah. you to be accused of because okay. she's dreaming about something. she's dreaming about you, you, you thinking that. <laughs> she dreams it, all of a sudden, you're just automatically guilty. Uh, automatic. That's not right. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't. Well, I'm not saying... I'm just saying that her... The reason she's having those dreams... I'm gonna turn for this one. It's a female... It's for this one. She's having these dreams because her intuition is being triggered. How is he gonna be held responsible for something she dreamt about? No, 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 no. It's a dream. It's a dream. The dream is you centered on the fact that it. her intuition is fueling her dreams. So she believes that he is cheating, and so her mind is saying, at night, her subconscious is saying, I what mean... you're believing, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, and wow. more importantly, <laughs> she is saying he cheated in the past. So she has... She has a trust issue. Yes. And now her intuition is going, that, that de, antenna's de, 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 doing this. De, 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 de. And when that antenna wiggles, it comes <laughs> up. So tell me, what happened in the past? He was cheating with his ex or whatever. She say I took him from her. Wow. I don't know. I was never the side chick. I was the only chick. That's how I felt. But he, it was an ongoing thing. Then not even that girl. It was a whole nother girl. Oh. That neighbor. So it's we two different really women? Your Honor, yes. Yes. Let me tell you, I was walking by the pool. I was pregnant as hell. Walking by the pool, waiting on my homegirls to get off the train, and we walking by, and this girl, she banging on the table. I, your man. Trust and believe, I don't know if she's talking to me, so I'm still minding my business. He gonna say, babe, I can't let you... Day, he said, babe, I, I can't it. let you go at out like point, that. She talking to time. you. Who said that? He did. He said that. And I said, what you mean she talking to me? He was like, man, I told the hoe to keep her mouth shut. Oh! Is that true? No. It's true. What? It's true. It's true. It is true. It's true. It's true. Okay, so true. did everybody at the pool know it was true? No, nah, I wouldn't say everybody. No, nah, all her friends was like, oh, you crazy girl, she gonna beat you up. Shh, stop doing it. Like, they was against... They was like... They was telling her she was wrong, but at this point, she being disrespectful to me, and I was still a hothead, so I did what I had to do, and then I handled him at home. Right. And what did that look like when you handled him at home? You know, like, we argued, <laughs> and, uh... We got on with our day. Is this the only time that he cheated? We got new issues, and our new issues is our car battery went out on our... Our car battery went out on our car. So he didn't get paid till two days later. He told me he was gonna borrow the money from a guy co-worker. Remind you, I still got this intuition back here telling me he lying. So I was like, are you borrowing the money from a guy co-worker or a female co-worker? He promised it's a guy, it's a guy, it's a guy. So he got the battery and stuff changed. He come home from work, a couple days pass by. He don't know how to work an iPhone. I upgrade our phones to iPhones. So I went to his voicemails, and I saw this number. It was a private number, then it was another number. And it was a girl talking about, I gotta pay my rent. Where's my money? You said you was gonna pay me back. Terry, Terry, Terry. Then it, she was, Where, what are you doing? What are you? And I'm just like, who is this? Who is this? 
he was like, okay, all right, Shawty, I'm gonna just tell you right now, I did get the money from a girl. Oh. But he thought that was it. He okay, thought... wait a minute, hold on. Why did you lie about getting the money from a coworker? I lied did because... it matter? I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it did matter at the time because I was like, okay, I got to get this money some kind of way. I got to go to work tomorrow. Kids got to go to school. You got to go to work too. So it's not like I, I did this for my family. I didn't do it for me. But yeah. Mr. Patterson, the, the question is, if it was innocent, why not just say, hey, I borrowed the money I lied. I lied because I didn't want to hear what her response was at, if I even told the truth. I mean, yeah, I lied to get it over with just for that moment, you know, but... Okay, did you lie because you're sleeping with this woman? No, I lied because... Let's get into big. What did you do to further <laughs> investigate this? I know you did. Let's okay. <laughs> let me tell you about this white woman, Becky. That's what we gonna call her while we here in court. I went to doing more investigation. He had this secret app. He don't know how to work an iPhone. I went to purchase apps where you can see everything that you do on your iPhone, any apps you ever downloaded. So I saw this app called IMO. I said, oh. Okay, so I re-downloaded it. I saw messages. I saw everything that dates back to April. All right. So a month after us moving there, he got into this situation with Becky. Did you ever confirm that he was sleeping with this woman? I called her. After I saw all of that, I called her and she told me, yes, we have slept together one time. I'm in love with him. I'm not gonna stop talking to him. Crazy. It's all crazy. type of stuff. And this is the woman he borrowed the money from? Yes. So, Mr. Patterson, have you been sleeping with this woman? I did one time. Oh. That she know about. You haven't slept with her since? No. I only know Same about one. it because she told me, not <laughs> him. It didn't come from him. That's the reason he lied about the car battery because he was still trying to keep her a secret. And that's the truth. He accusing me of all of this stuff because of what he's doing. So, Mr. Patterson, this woman who you claim has this thing for you, you've been with her more than one time, haven't you? No, just, just that one time. Just, just one, one time. time? Just that one time. She crazy. She, she, she think we're in a relationship. She think we love each other. I mean, it ain't my fault that you fell in love. I mean... It is his fault. So, it, it so, my fault. so for, for you, it was just this one mistake that it snowballed. I mean... One, one and done. One and done. That's, That's where, where you were. were. Yeah. And it was, your, it was not your intent to ever go beyond that. No, it was not. But she's the one that believes that you all are in a relationship. She do. But, Ms. Patterson, she... you absolutely believe that it went beyond this one time. Yes. Why do you believe it's gone on beyond this? Because she keeps telling me more and more information. She told me they worked... First, I never knew she actually worked there. He denied that whole point. And I saw mess... Hold on, I got proof. I okay. saw messages. I saw everything. Ron, would you please get those messages? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. All right. These are text messages that are from... Your husband, between your husband and Becky. this woman, you call Becky. Mm -hmm. All right. She says, I love you with all of my heart and soul. And he responds, not when you blanking somebody else. Oh. Then it says... What you doing? And she says, my makeup and where is my blank soda? <laughs> and then Mr. Patterson responds, I can still taste you. Mmm. Oh. You wrote this to her? He did. I mean, from the looks, that's, that's what it, that's what it what? looked like. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not asking you what it looked like. I asked you, did you do it? Yeah, I did it. I did it. Okay, this is your place. <clears throat> Look, wait, wait, wait. This is your place to stand up and be a man. Yeah, I did it. Okay, don't give me these little mealy mouth answers. Answer the question. Yeah. Okay? Right. So you did it. I did it. Okay, so you were tasting her in September. No, nah, I wasn't tasting that girl. Oh, my so why God, you man. still tasting The girl is crazy. Like, you, you, you say certain stuff to the girl, it makes the girl happy. Like, but you so, I mean, <laughs> Go ahead, love. I can't. So I can't you still it. are trying to convince this court that it only happened one time? It happened one time. And that's it? That's it. And after all that time, you can still taste her. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're telling me. <laughs> and here's the thing. If it was just one time, the reason you would be telling her that is because you're trying to get another time. But you're saying it was only one time, right? Only one time. And nothing else has happened? No. And these messages are just you kind of 
leading her on, just talking, but nothing else happened. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. Cutler, there's the wife's side, there's the husband's side, and there's the other woman's side. Let's hear what she has to say. Ron, do you score a witness in? Yes, y'all. You. I'm great. How are you? All right. You are a member of our court personnel. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And what you have is a statement from the other woman. Is that right? I do have a statement from the other woman. <laughs> All right. Would you please share with the court and for the record the other woman's statement? Yes. Two weeks after we started working together, we started hanging out as friends. I hadn't had sex in three years, so when sex was mentioned in our conversation, I didn't decline the idea. He did tell me he was married, but that him and his wife were going through a divorce. Mm. Two months after we initially met, we had sex. He did tell me that he loved me, and eventually he even told me that his biggest dilemma was loving two women at the same time. Oh. He is a liar. Even though it is his wife, it broke my heart to see him with her. I wasted six months of my life. Thank you. Thank you. So there it is. Were you in love with two women at the same time? No, I wasn't. My thing is, like... <laughs> like, he always say, let's grow old. Like, we, I look at y'all, y'all are so beautiful and stuff. Like, how you want to grow old and be like them when you can't even do right? Like, it just a break my heart. Because <laughs> then he sit here and he say it was three months. It wasn't... I mean... <laughs> it's okay. So, Mr. Patterson, when you look at your wife, turn, I want you to turn and look at her. When you see your wife, the mother of your children, standing there in tears, what is going through your mind right now? I messed up. Bad. But it, it, it don't defeat, I can't keep going through this. Like, ain't no more messed up. We ain't kids no more. Like, it's just done. Mr. Patterson, if you want to grow old and be an old married couple, now is your time to come clean. Are you saying we're an old married couple? <laughs> is that what you're saying? An older married couple. How's that? Oh, we... Look, we've been together for 36 years. I mean... See, that's what I it, inspired yeah. to do, be an old married couple. Yeah. I mean, older. Yeah. Older. We can only pretend to be so young. I, so we... I thought we were still popular. Mr. Cutler. We're still young and popping, but we've been together for 36 years, so we can only pretend to be so young. Okay. If, Mr. Patterson, if you got any chance of being an older married couple, then now is your time to come clean. How many times have you been with her? One time. Mm-hmm. One time. All right. At this time, the court would like to call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Tom Platt to find out, is he cheating? <laughs> Thank you for being here. Would you Thank please you. state your credentials for the record? I have over 10 years as a certified polygraph examiner and conducted nearly 3,000 polygraph examinations. Mr. Patterson, you're gripping that podium mighty hard. I'm just, I'm just holding on to it. Just holding on to it. That's it. Okay. You asked Mr. Patterson, other than what your wife knows about, since you've been married, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife, what was his response? He stated no. What did the polygraph exam reveal? Polygraph determined that he was being deceptive. You asked Mr. Patterson, during your marriage to Ms. Patterson, have you had sexual intercourse with the woman referred to as Becky? other than the one time you admitted to your wife. What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. When are you gonna stand up? Stand up, man, and tell the truth you was right now. Up, dude. You owe it to her. He was old. It, it, this is not the look you want. Yeah. Be a man. Tell her what's happened. I did it. 
You did I what? Mean, I cheated. For how long? Six. How long have you been with this woman? You clearly said six months. Because you all have been together for such a long time, Ms. Patterson, I have to ask you, where's your marriage going? It's going nowhere. I'm done. I can't take no more. You all have been together for 13 years. You're engaged to be married. You've got five kids together. But whether there's a wedding down the line all depends on what happens here today. Is that right, Ms. McCrory? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Tell us why you've initiated this case. Your Honor, I believe this man right here is cheating on me. And Not true. being together for Not 13 true. years, five kids later, you know, uh, my family's at stake and I'm too old for it. I gotta move on or something. And if you find out he's cheating, if what does I that mean? If I find out he's cheating, I am packing his stuff and dropping it to his house. <laughs> she's, she, wait a minute, she ain't giving up her place. She's not yeah. leaving, he's leaving. She's kicking him out, yeah. So he's gone. He is out. He's got to go. I, it's my house and the kids. All right. All right. Mr. Tozer, she's saying you get ready to get Your the Honor, boot I'm if she cheating. finds out you're cheating. Your Honor, I'm not cheating on her. I love her. I wouldn't risk my family or my relationship over another woman. I've been with her too long. Mr. Tozer, you say you love her. I do. I want, I, I, I want to prove my innocence today so we can get married and move on with our future. Right, and so you're not cheating with anybody? No, I'm not. She's, it's all in her head. It is. She just maybe being home with the kids a lot and just got a lot of time to think, but I'm not cheating on her. How aren't you cheating? Because we don't have no more sex. When, when I was nothing, pregnant all the other times with, with the four kids, don't have... we had lots of sex. We had a healthy relationship. Now, <laughs> I don't even get none. It's like, vroom, like that. That's not true. So it's just been a... True? That's not true at all. She said you you're not having Viagra? sex at all. Are you having sex with somebody? What about last night? Oh. You're only kissing my <laughs> just to say, just to have one more time, because you know, once we get this result, you're out. I'm not going nowhere. It's because I ain't do nothing wrong. I'm approved the young minister today. Okay. So, so Ms. McCrory, is there anybody in particular that you're worried about? Yes. Uh, he takes this girl to work. She wasn't supposed to be in my car. He never called to ask permission about her being in my car. And I... D does he need permission to give a co-worker a ride to work? Exactly. A female, it would be nice. I mean, people, you... people give people Ms. rides Miller. to work all the time, right? Yeah, but where's the harm in that? Ms. McCoy, people give co-workers rides to work all the time, right? But when it comes to a female thing, it's different. Ms. Cutler, wouldn't you agree? Well, I, you know, I, 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 the preference would be... Oh, boy, yeah, I'm I want to hear eyeballs. this. I want to hear this. Come on. All right. The preference would be that you would tell me, Mr. Cutler, hey, I'm giving so-and-so a ride, but I'm not sure that if you didn't, I would be upset about it. Now, if it was a daily kind of thing, he was giving a ride every day, every day, I might be like, okay, when's she gonna get her car fixed? Or when's she gonna get, when's well, she gonna get that bus pass so she can go on? Well, coworkers ride together, I mean, it's a, it's a cross no, station message. The seat, I'm sorry to interrupt, no. but the seat was laid back. So what were they doing in the seat? Oh, it's Why not just a ride, it's a ride that she's worried about. Is she okay. getting a ride or that's, is he getting that's a ride? Not even true. That's not true neither. She blows everything out of proportion. So you didn't want the drama? Yeah. I okay. Mean, there was no sexual act or nothing involved. It's just, if well, I what tell a... her something, she makes a big deal out of nothing. Okay, so why was the seat laid back? Because, I mean... To be honest, I leave my house at like 4.50 in the morning. So she sleeps on the ride, the ride to work. It's a 45-minute ride. From why do you let her sleep in our car? We're riding to work. What am I going to do? I don't so care. you can't sleep on catching a ride? Yes. Mr. Cor, so, I mean, so he's got to have rules now for his coworker that you, you can ride, but you can't go to sleep, you can't let it's the sleep It's 30-degree angle yeah. only. <laughs> are, are you that strict? Yeah, she is. Yeah? I've been All right. Well, yeah. My like question my is, have you found anything that makes you think that Mr. Tozier is, is cheating? Yes, I have. Tell me about it. I did some investigation in that car. I went in there. I was digging out everything. I went to the back seat, started digging inside the back seat, and you know what I pull up? I a, have no idea. A thong <laughs> that damn sure didn't belong to me. I'm big girl. They were skinny girl, and they look crusty. I have the evidence right here. Oh, that okay. was the, you, submitted you submitted that to the, that car. To the court. Yes, I did. It. And look at that. That looks nasty. This was in your back seat. Yes, tucked I was, under. It was tucked inside the seat in the back. 
Mr. Tozer, uh, those don't look like they belong to you. Whose are they? I never seen them before. <laughs> never. You never seen them? Honestly, honestly, Your Honor, I never seen them before. Like I said, it's her car. She got girlfriends in the car, and that's she went there. They wrong. have their own car. Why do I have to pick my friends? Miss, up? Miss McCroy, is there any other reason that you believe Mr. Tozer might be cheating? Yes, there is. Tell me about this. May I um, cross examine? I have evidence. All right. You'll cross through the monitor. Go ahead. Yes. What is this? Okay. Anybody? So what Do is they this? recognize the picture? So what is this we're looking at? All right, this is a sex, um, a sexting or something on a dating site. And I went through his phone, and oh. this is exactly what I found. Okay, that's like a, a profile. Yes. He speaks English. Yes, he does. Says he's interested in threesomes. That okay. doesn't I don't happen between us, so I don't know what threesomes he's having. Discreet relationships, Dis oral sex, friends with benefits. Those are the things he's interested in. Yeah, and that's no. not happening with me. No. So who is it happening that's with? So, happened. Mr. Tozer, I mean, that's your picture right there. And not only that, it says 30. He is 33 right now. So how long have you been cheating on me? So we've got a three-year-old profile that's been up with your sign and things you're interested in, and you are engaged to Miss McCrory. With five kids. No, yeah. Your Honor, that ain't even how it happened. I had a friend of mine staying with me, and he, and he sits up, like, all through the night, and he uses my phone, because, like, he's down on his luck. And he took my picture, and he made that. He made that dating site. He he made, made, I'm so he... What? Wait a minute. And Wait not only that, he got hits from it. He actually got hits from it. Had girls calling my phone and coming That's to my That's a lie. House. So, wait a minute. You're telling me your... Friend. Friend <laughs> used your photo to catch the women. He catfished them until he got them to the house, yeah. But that's a lie, but... because there's more to this. Okay. Well, <laughs> but that, that's your story, that your friend set this up. He did. I didn't okay. know nothing about it until she found it and brought it to my attention. But, but what about the your... call? Are you when you got a call from somebody saying, I saw your profile, I'm interested in A through Z, what did you say? Uh, eventually, but they was happening at nighttime. So I didn't know about it. And he's sitting on my phone from like 12 to 3. That's Why would you have him but, use but your but phone? But Mr. Tozer, if he was going to use your picture, why wouldn't he use his name and his contact information? I don't know, Chris. He... I know that's how it looks, but he's good. He's good at talking. So once he gets him on the phone and talking to him, he's good. He's just a slick talker. That's how he is. But Miss McCroy, you don't believe this is just that. You don't believe this story at all. That it. No, that I do not. Tell no, me I why. Don't. Okay. Sex in the park. We have done that. Sex with toys. We have done that. Sex in the police station. We have done that, and nobody knows anything about that. That is okay. something that's discreet with us. Sex in a police station parking lot? Yes. Well, doesn't anybody have adventurous sex? <laughs> not in a police station parking lot. That's not how it happened. It, it didn't happen like that. Okay, but it did oh, happen look, in a parking lot? I'm in not a... mad at you. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I'm just... It's curious. Hey, I'm a guy. Sometimes uh, when you uh, want it, you want it in weird places. And so here's the question. And this is probably your question. If this is your friend's uh, profile, how did he know that you had sex in the police station parking lot when your wife... Wild... I'm down. We're guys, so we yeah. talk... We he was talk, bragging. And I was trying to be macho, so I was telling him that stuff. It don't make... It looked good. I had sex in... Oh, you're, you're adventurous, you know You're the man. High fives all around, right? Like, yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. wait a minute. So he Ron, have you ever... Caught... used it. Ron, have you ever caught somebody in the police station parking lot? It's been caught, yes. <laughs> See? <laughs> we we need to nothing. get out, boy, Mr. Color. We, we, we got to step anyone. our game up. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, if you've had sex in the police station parking lot, you do dirty talk. There's yeah. no doubt you do that. I agree. I do dirty talk because I love him and that's what he wants, so I give him what he wants. You know? But All right. the thing is, you found it. You step back to the podium. Thank you. Thank you. You found his dating profile, and it has his name, his picture, and all the things he likes to do. And you're trying to figure out why in the world does he have a dating profile when he's engaged to you? Exactly. Yes. 13-year relationship. With five kids. Five kids. Engaged to be married. All on the line right now. All on the line. Well, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic cyber expert Gus Dimitrellis 
and certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine is he cheating. <laughs> Ron, please escort them in. Better not be lying. Mr. Tozer, are you nervous? You look nervous. I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to worry about. Miss McCoy, are you nervous? Yes and no. I'm nervous for the fact that I might lose my family. Mm. But That's if, real talk. At the end of the day, you know, I gotta move on with my life. And you so need to I'm know, ready. And you need to know one way or the other. Yes. But, and I see the emotion I'm in your face and in your there. eyes. You're, you're, you're concerned. This is real. Yeah. This is all on the line. I love this man. I'm about to prove to her that I'm innocent right now. Gentlemen, good day. How are you? Good day, Wonderful. Your Honors. It's good to see both of you. Good to see y'all. Mr. Demetrius, let me start with you. What did you do to investigate this case? I conducted a full forensic examination on Mr. Tozer's phone. Did you find anything of note in Mr. Tozer's phone? I did. Ms. McCroy's concern was of an online sex profile of Mr. Tozer that she found on Mr. Tozer's phone. I can clarify this. Mr. Tozer said he did not create this profile. In fact, he created the profile and he's paid for it. Oh, uh, are you serious? How long has he been using this profile? Because that's been a question she had as well. Mr. Tozer has been using this profile for months and it's still active. Are you serious? Mr. Tozer. Your Honor, the truth about it is, I did make the profile. But my, Why? I, I made this thing up, but the only one on it, and just to be honest, to look at the pictures. I never fully texted anybody. My friend really did use it. That's the truth about that, to be honest Why, with you. why you want to look at other females when you have me? I don't know. Some guys do sometimes. It just happens, I guess. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. Truthful. All right. Well. Uh, Mr. Platt, you performed a polygraph examination of Mr. Tozer, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And you asked him a few questions. Let's go through those. Yes, ma'am. All right. You asked Mr. Tozer, did you have physical sexual contact with the woman Miss McCroy found out you were secretly driving to work? What was his response? Your Honor, he stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was telling the truth. That's one. <laughs> you also asked Mr. Tozer, were the women's underwear Miss McCroy found in your car from a woman you had physical sexual contact with? What was his response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. I wouldn't risk my relationship and my family over a woman. You said you would not risk your relationship? My relationship or my family over for a woman, another woman. It ain't worth it to me. All right. Then why can't you ever prove that? That's what I'm here doing now. You asked Mr. Tozer, were you using the internet sex profile on your phone to have physical sexual contact with women other than Ms. McCrory? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, but that he claimed he made the account to look at nude women. I just told y'all that. <laughs> I told you, I got on the house. I should have been honest, but... You should have been honest, yeah. I should have been honest, I'm, I right. agree. 13-year relationship on the line. We have one more question. You ready? Yes. You asked, Mr. Tozer, since the start of your relationship with Ms. McCroy, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he stated, yes, he confessed. What? Are you serious? That was when we first got together, like in... No, 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 no. How long ago are we talking, Mr. Tozer? 13, 12 years. 12 years ago, when you all first started 12 dating. years? When we first got in a relationship... I was pregnant. No, when we first got in a relationship, 
to be honest with her, I never had a woman that cared about me the way she did. Like, I just thought she was, you know, with me to have a place to stay and stuff. So I didn't take it serious in the Why? first year. But after that? I've been faithful ever since. Mr. Toza, I'm looking at you. I see that the, the, the tears crying. welling up in your eyes. Yeah. I mean, what does that represent? I don't want to lose my family. You love this woman. I want to be with her the rest of my life. That's why I didn't tell her, because I knew I would have lost her and never had a chance to make it right. You know, I'll tell you like it is. I would tell you, you need to run. I find myself hesitant, because you all have a lot of years, and you have a whole family. And, and here's the thing, love, and I guess this is the important part we need to tell them, is if you can survive it, that's where you really become strong, because you know... <laughs> 